Here we go, buddy. Yeah! Fred! Hey! Yes! Yeah, the first one down, buddy. Give me hey, pound the dog. First time! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you ready, Freddy Rico? Huh? You ready to go? Let's go try it. Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. We are behind the house. Uh, y'all seen the last video that went up and uh, got the pond going. It is beautiful. I just got back in town from Wisconsin. Big shout out to everybody that hit me up on DM. On the old Instagram, uh, I was up in Wisconsin. All of the invites uh, from people to go till hunting and honker hunting. I didn't get to do any hunting up there. Uh, I was up there for my sister's uh, wedding. So congratulations to Rochelle and Corey. Gosh, it was amazing. Wisconsin is so beautiful. My first time ever being there. Machine is still here because we got new plans for the pond, which I might just gab to you about them while we sit here because I plan on sitting quite a while. Been, oh, he's got a sticker. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, there we go. There it is. But here is the pond. Beautiful, isn't she? It has water in it. Yes, I wasn't going to do a video where I was like, oh, my pond has water in it. That would be boring. I'm like, Let's tell everybody about the pond. And right now it's sitting at four o'clock in the afternoon. No better time to get out here. Uh, me and the wife just got back in town, like I said, from Wisconsin. Came back here, my dad house, house sat for me pretty much. And uh, we got two and a half inches. Two and a half inches and this happened. It was actually like right at 2.46 inches. And you can tell where it was. It was way back here-ish. You can see where it's dried up the last three days. So this is three days. I talked with my buddy Garrett who dug it, who y'all met. By the way, on the last video, I linked Garrett's information and his entire company. He digs ponds for a living. He is amazing at it. It's a family owned business. So in that video, he is linked down there, which if I remember, I'll try to link him down in here. Hit him up if you want a pond dug, if you're anywhere around me in Kansas, central Kansas. But check it out, I got the Dove of Flickers just a-going. Isn't that pretty? Uh-huh. Lots of sand. Perfect Dove conditions, water, boom. First hunt on the pond, baby. All we gotta do is do this. The only reason I have any faith in killing something surprised that thing's working I left it in the back of my truck in that two and a half inch rain and she still works but uh, the only reason I want to try it is because while I've been just chilling back here for the last not very long I could have shot two so I spread my flickers out you know coming up this bank with a mojo coming in like he's landing into the wind and I have this right here yes Perfect little shady spot. Got a bucket, got my GoPro, got my gun. There's one right there. That's three. That really sucks. I could have shot that bird. He was the closest one yet. The other two birds I've seen have just kind of skimmed the pond and I wasn't sitting here. I was just off in the golf cart and they skimmed the pond right over the middle and I could have shot him for sure if I had a gun, but. Here we go. That's three that I could have shot. I can't believe I, that dove went right over my head. Um, there's been some dove flying around before I left for Wisconsin uh, in the backyard, probably 10 a night. So now they've probably found this water. It's new to them. So I'm hoping with it being new to them, there's no water around my pond. That's the greatest thing about this, having this pond right here. So he's ready to go. Uh, so with it being new, if any dove have found it in the last three days since the rain, they're going to want to just rush it. Which brings me to my next point. Guys, if you want to come hunt with me here on, maybe here at the pond, we might do a hunt here. I'm sure we will, but come stay at the lodge at Sand Hill Flyway with the entire gang, uh, all the boys. You got a chance to win a hunt and it's over on my podcast. Bye turkey time springtime we will have given away i believe four or five hunts so 
pretty awesome. If you want to join the podcast, it's always linked down in the description below. It is only five bucks a month, but there are now two episodes that are free that you can check out and see if you like it before you subscribe. But I promise you, you will love it. I get to be Bobby and uncensored and YouTube, I have to be a good boy. <laughs> Ooh, there are three right there. Come on, get in here. How can't you see that? They came from the back. And this one, I'm gonna bring him over here. We got three motion right there. Those came from over there. Put one here and another one down here. And just make it look like dove are all over this thing. You know what I mean? Is that, was that doing your hat? Yeah, that clips to daddy's hat. The GoPro? Yeah. Uh, well, we had to fire up the grill for mama, didn't we? Yeah. And Bodie wanted to come out to the pond and go hunting, don't you? Uh, you just swigging your McDonald's Sprite there, buddy. Get it, son. Bodie, don't mess around. He said, Dad, I want to go back there and hunt with you. So I got Bodie's earmuffs, and we're going to migrate back here. We uh, just fired up the grill, going to cook some chicken and some corn. Ready, buddy? Yeah. Yeah? Can you hear me? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. What are you doing, man? Nothing. Nothing? Getting bored already? Yeah. You're just like Preston, you know that? Hey, what? There's a little water over there. You don't want to talk about you being like Preston? No. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Preston gets... So, when me and Preston first met, we started... Bubba, you got to come sit down, man. We're not going to have any birds. If you out walking around, come on. Huh? Okay, you can go over there. We got puddles everywhere now, so he's gonna go play in the mud. Uh, but I remember when me and Preston started uh, hunting together, he couldn't sit still. And then when you're hunting snow geese or geese laying in white, ooh, text message, uh, you gotta, stay laid down all the time because if you don't there'll be birds coming you and you don't know it they don't make a peep and then they flare and you mess it up so this is fun man Bodie just seeing him getting jittery and uh, rambunctious I've waited for these days especially these days being able to drive the golf cart out back of the house and come sit on a bucket hopefully shoot a couple Just a boy and his dog. Whoa, easy, dude. <laughs> if uh, these aren't the best at-home hunts, most relatable videos, I don't know what is. I've been waiting to have some water out back. First dove I have seen. Me and Bubba are back out here. We just got done eating dinner. First dove just went right by us. What do you think, bud? Huh? Yeah. Not much. Here we go, buddy. Yeah! Nice. Fred! Hey! Yes! Yeah. The first one down, buddy. Give that me pound the dog. First He came right into the pond. Fred here. Fred here. He didn't see it go down. Fred here. I can see him. All right, you can get him, buddy. Watch out for the mud. Yes. He came and he decoyed. Oh, keep going. Keep going. Nope, keep going that way. Dead bird. He found him. Fred got him. Here, here, here. Hold him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've been waiting. Pick it up, fetch it up. We've been waiting forever. That took me all three shots. Bring him up here. Fred, here. Here, drop, drop. 
Pick him up, buddy. Drop. Good. Pick him up. Hold him up here. Wow. Look at that, buddy. What did we get there? One for the first day. We got a dove on the pond for the first time ever. That's awesome. One in the back. Hit that thumbs up button. Tell him. You're going to get shy now. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say hit that thumbs up button. Hit that thumbs up button. That's right. Come on. Sit. Good dog. That's a good friend. Yes. Yes. All righty, guy. Get behind me again. Come on. You know the drill. We've been waiting forever. Bodie's been just playing behind me in the dirt and the mud. Yes. I've never... One dove has never felt so good in my life. And I mean that. You got your bullets. Yeah, look at that. I shot at a starling earlier, and then it took me one, two, three shots to get that dove, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. See if I can do a little better here. Uh, it's not a dove. There was one right there. That nope. Right over us. No, that wasn't a dove. Oh, starlings. Lots of starlings, Bubba. Woo! You wouldn't believe it. Or maybe some of you would. Come on, Frederick. Let's go. Man, my wife got me this. Uh, look how hairy this thing is. This is a lifesaver. It's waterproof, too. My wife got me one for my truck for old Freddy Boy. And it works awesome. I don't know what brand it is, so don't ask. Uh, me and Freddy Boy, as you can tell uh, by the mess of the truck. Yeah. We just got back scouting and she's a filthy one. Them roads were wet. And that is why all of the dove are gone. Before I left uh, for Wisconsin, um, I'm not going to say that there was a lot of dove, but there was enough around to hunt. You know, you might scratch five or ten here or there. Uh, the birds were very concentrated, not spread out. You had to really scout. I scouted. It is now, what time is it? It is now sitting at 10.50. I was probably done scouting by 10 all morning long. I could probably count how many dove I've seen. Definitely not over 100 in a lot of miles. So put it, to put it that way, dove hunting here is scarce. So let me find my bearings here. I'm gonna show you guys all of the new updates on the lodge. I have done so many upgrades uh, that I want to share it with you guys and I've been amping it up because I'm really excited about all the upgrades It's gonna be really comfortable really cozy and it's gonna accommodate all the extra people guides and clients Sorry, dude. We're just gonna have to wait till t till season gets here, buddy till season starts and I believe what so Like four days, so let's kick it off here. We're on the north side of the shop. This is a uh, this is where, um, so P. Diddy and Bert the Cook will be staying in my new fifth wheel camper all season long. And then I just put in this door. Uh huh. It's a north entry, so this is where we're at. There's the lodge. Here's the guide shack. There's the containers and the trailer. Yes, if you haven't seen the containers, they're full of decoys. I've showed you guys in other videos. But on the outside here, check it out. Uh, we'll see them on the inside. This is Drew and Gage's room, and that is Gerald and Aaron's room. You all have met Gage on plenty of videos, but y'all I don't think have ever met Aaron. He's going to be new to Sand Hill Flyway, and can't wait to have him. Going to be a big help. All right, here we are. You guys have not seen this yet. Check it out. Big shout out to Brad Rills back for helping me get this whole downstairs guide shack edition, all studded and walled up. So we're gonna have washer dryer, big sink. Here is the shower that's gonna go right there, toilet. So this is a bathroom. And then this room here will be a door. This will be Gage's room. Then we'll have a fire safety door that goes into Drew's room, which here's his door. And then so they can both get out of this window in case we have a fire. Yes, that's the fifth wheel. I put windows in everything. I put more windows than I actually needed just to be safe. Um, I sleep better at night knowing 
all of my guys and all of my clients are absolutely 100% safe and can exit in case of an emergency. Up here, like I said, old G-Wagon in Aaron's room. It needs some work. We need to, we're gonna get Aaron an actual bed up here. And then, actually Gerald's isn't bad. I think his is pretty soft, yeah. I think he likes his bed, it's really big. But here's the addition, this window here. <laughs> Gerald was like, dang Bob. He's like, I'm gonna bring the old rifle up here and I'll be able to snipe a deer right out the window. You actually could, you actually could. It's a good view up here. Y'all have been wanting to see some mounts. This is Gerald's mount from last year. He did a, a lesser and a really barred up beautiful spec. Drop a comment down below if you want me to go over all of the mounts. Well, sorry. I was rudely interrupted by Garrett the pond guy. Not rudely interrupted at all. We are going to actually make the pond out back a lot bigger, a whole lot bigger. Now, what I'm about to show you is my prized possession, the biggest new addition to the lodge that I think is amazing. Let me back up. Hold on, hold on. You gotta get the whole deal here. So we're at the back of the lodge and check it out. How pretty is that? Yeah, we got a nice old hangover here. All the metal matches the lodge. We got the window up yonder. That's a upstairs bedroom. I will take you in and show you guys here in just a little bit, but check it out. Uh, now the things we gotta do, uh, still. Number one, right here. I'll show you the inside right here. So when we go inside and I show you the door that's cut out with all the wiring that's a pain in my you know what, this is where the door will be. So we'll go in and out here. This will all be underlit LED lighting under here. Uh, I might enclose this wall in and a little bit of this wall because right here, it's gonna be grill and chill area. Grill and chill, uh, so at night I want it to be, you know, like scone sliding on the outside of these posts. Just really pretty. Presentable with the new asphalt back here. All the clients will park out back now. And this will be the big gathering junction. A lot closer and easier for them to go in and out of the lodge without having to walk around the other side. Lots of excuses here, but we're going to, for now this year, the ground here, we are going to white rock all this underneath. I'm gonna call it a lean-to. So it'll be white rocked. It will look gorgeous when it's done. You can tell the amount of work we've been doing. Uh, big shout out to the crew that came and did it. Y'all are awesome. Nathan, you guys are some working dogs, man. You guys rock. But let's go, oh, let me show you this. So, new bedroom window. Brand new bedroom that never was a bedroom with a new window. Uh-huh. Now, before we go any farther, I know. We only shot one dove yesterday. But guess what? Me and my son had a darn good time. Let's put it that way. So I hope you guys respect that. I know we do have some haters on the channel. Really? Yo, you made a video about shooting one bird? If I could give you the finger on here, I would. So if, um, which brings me to my next thing. Thank you for all of the positive support from all you nice people out there that like what I do. And thank you for being here. Y'all are family and friends to me. All the other people can hit the road, Jack. Here's the door I was talking about. Yes. Uh-huh. It's a wiring nightmare. Thank goodness my cousin is an electrician. He's gonna come clean up all these wires, reroute them over the door. And then we got Bradley, the old rails back, who's gonna do the plumbing for me. I'm not the best electrician and plumber and I want it to be done right and safe. The refrigerator merator is going back in its original spot right here. So then there'll be the door and then you, you can go up to your room or you can go around and down to your room. I like it. I think it's a good idea. Let me know if you guys like it too. And if you think of any other ideas, let me know. One idea that y'all have had for quite some time is to redo the garage door. I know it's kind of an eyesore and put a couple glass slates in there just to pretty it up. But look at this. We've got natural light up here now, boys and gals. Check it out. 
window in a bedroom actually looks like a real house with these windows you know this bedroom check it out i'll show you the view it's got a really good view looking out front here uh-huh pretty awesome so what's great about these windows especially this one is that this room of guys in particular if they're if one of them are running a little late they can look out that window and see if there's any running trucks and be like hey i'm behind i gotta go but we are making that this used to be and still is the storage room but i'm gonna do flooring to match we already got it all studded up the walls uh there'll be a door here that will remain storage door here that will remain storage so this will be a little room this will be one queen bed like perfect for one guy or a couple uh so they can have some privacy but here's the window it's got a pretty good view too you can see what's going on in the back guide shack you can see the house it's so awesome really excited to just keep adding to the lodge you know um, it's an ongoing project and it's fun i really enjoy making it better and um, again if you guys want to see all of our mounts all of my mounts gerald's mounts you want me to go around and explain them all to you drop a comment down below and let me know and we'll do it on top of that i'm adding a bunch of mounted birds <sighs> a lot of snow geese gonna go up here uh this is our snow goose uh i don't know it's basically an exhibit and i'm gonna add a bunch like this like that one that one that are all through here that are all landing i'm gonna make them look like they're feeding up there so it'll be full of snow geese up there it'll be really cool Whew. but i know we did not shoot a lot of dove on this video just one and i hope you guys really appreciate that i know if um if any of y'all sees the haters down there really one bird you're such a loser just go give them a piece of your mind help a brother out um i'm not gonna whine and complain i will say that this year's trash talking has been more abundant than others and i'll say four reasons but the channel's just growing y'all and first of all enough with the haters thank you to all you positive guys out there guys and gals that drop awesome comments congratulate me just say hey thank you for doing what you're doing i appreciate you i appreciate you 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 guys honestly don't know how much it means to me to read positive comments i don't hire anybody to go through my comments i don't hire anybody to go through my dms on instagram i have to manage it all and i'm just a normal guy and i'm a human being and it gets it gets abrasive it can get tough it can get to a guy you know but again thank you um till season is firing up in just a few days so those videos are going to be popping off and then number two you know dove is scarce but number two the 17th i believe 16th 17th of september me and p diddy chris and gavin and the two podcast winners are headed to alaska finally we're going to cold bay alaska to hunt with illusion waterfowlers illusion island water waterfowlers big shout out to them for uh for helping with this giveaway and uh giving away an awesome two-man hunt for heck they did a four-man hunt thank you charlie charlie somerville over at illusion island waterfowlers thank you charlie and steph y'all are awesome but those videos uh will be coming probably i don't know the 18th or 19th of september and we're going up there for sea ducks and brant we'll be shooting some mallards some widgeon but sea ducks and brant geese the brant geese up there are tarsal banded have leg tarsals one out of ten yes so it's gonna be epic uh the scenery there it's mountains cold snow ice it's i think the higher up there right now is like 36 42 degrees and no the guy isn't going with us i'm sorry dude you're just gonna have to stay home be a lazy dog uh-huh go play in your new pond uh-huh you're just a fat boy but remember if you guys want to get in on the upcoming hunt giveaways here at sand hill flyway go down in the description hit my podcast link yes it's over on patreon yes it is five dollars a month but 
we have a couple episodes up there that are completely free. And we made them free so you guys can see what the podcast is all about before you spend your five bucks. It is subscription based, automatically charged every month, once a month. And I have really not had one person back out that said, hey, this is not worth my five bucks. Everybody that has replied or sent me a, you know, a DM about the podcast are like, dude, thank you so much for doing the podcast. I have waited to see the real Bobby. Not only do you get to see the real Bobby and everything we're about here, but that's where all the giveaways happen over there. And uh, over there, that's all my die hard fans, man. Thank you guys for going over there. We uh, still have, we're giving away two hunts, a turkey hunt and a snow goose hunt still this season for 2022 spring. So there's still time to win them. But thank you all for being here. I'm done blabbing. I hope you guys are enjoying the early season dove and till hunting, but the season is coming fast, y'all. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell on there because it'll notify you when your boy uploads. But until next time.